What's up, YouTube? This is Drew from Not Too Nerdy. Today we're looking at Hotline Miami. I know it's uh, a little bit late to put up this video. Everyone's been talking about this game. I'm a little late to the party, but I started playing the game yesterday, and I completed it, and I had an amazing time, man. This is a freaking great game. If you guys haven't heard about Hotline Miami, it's uh, developed by uh, Denaton Games, which is uh, two game developers, uh, Jonathan Soderstrom, and uh, Dennis well, uh, Whedon, I believe his name is. And uh, this team uh, makes a lot of uh, Adult Swim games, but uh, this is like, I guess their really first official title that is getting a lot of good reception. Uh, you know, it's got a Metacritic about, I think, an 88, and I just, I've really enjoyed the game. I played it nonstop and completed it, and it was really great. So, uh, what the game is basically is it's a 2D uh, top uh, down, like, action. Uh, stealth combination type of game but what's so great about the, the game is that it's just it's got that uh, grueling difficulty of something like Super Meat Boy but it's super addictive because once you die you can get right back into the action and it's just one of those games that you just get addicted to you keep playing it and it's very challenging but it's very rewarding when you complete a level there's about uh, 19 chapters and it has a very interesting story and the great thing about this game, uh, the developer calls it a top-down fuck 'em up. <laughs> Based on the um, that blend of uh, top-down perspective with stealth, it's got this extreme violence and this like cool surreal storytelling. Um, also has 80s influence, as you can see, and uh, with its visuals and this pretty cool soundtrack. It's got a lot, a lot of nice uh, freaking 80s like club beats and like. Well, like I don't even know how to describe it. It's just a really amazing soundtrack, and the visuals are really trippy and cool, man. And it has a really interesting story, you know. It, you know, it kind of critiques you know, video game violence, and I really enjoyed it. I, I couldn't highly recommend this game. It's ten dollars on Steam. The soundtrack is amazing. It's not available yet, but I will put a link uh, to the SoundCloud page where you can listen to the whole entire soundtrack. I've been bumping this soundtrack all weekend, man. It's just an amazing game. So I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to get right into the game and explain some of the mechanics in it. So I have completed the game, so I just want to show you guys before I start. Um, there's the different chapters. As you can see, there's 19 chapters in whole. I would say I played it for about 19 hours, but that's probably not true. <laughs> Uh, you can probably complete this game if you if you know what you're doing in probably four hours, five hours. Um, if if you're just really good at these games, you can beat it in two and a half on a speed run. But um, so there's 19 chapters and there's a prelude, chapter one. So today we're just gonna look at um, the prelude and uh, probably chapter one and uh, like the tutorial for the game. If you guys want more of this game, you want a complete walkthrough, I'll be more than glad to complete it. I've already completed the game, so I have a pretty good handle of how to um, beat the game, so I would, I would love to do a walkthrough for this. But um, just, you know, if I get enough views, if I get at least 100 views, um, I'll definitely do a walkthrough for this game. And I want to get it done before um, Wednesday, which is Halloween, when the uh, new Sleeping Dogs DLC comes out. Um, if you guys don't know, um, Medal of Honor, I hate the game. It's got like a 50 on Metacritic. I'm not going to finish the walkthrough. It's not getting any views. So I'm not going to waste my time on something I'm not enjoying and you guys are enjoying. So I'd, I'd gladly bring more uh, Hotline Miami to you guys. So let me stop blabbing my mouth and let's get right into the damn game. So this is the uh, tutorial section of the game. I'm here to tell you now how to kill people. <laughs> this game is a controlled with your WAS keys and a mouse. Press the left mouse button to punch and aim for the face. Alright, so this is played with a uh, keyboard and mouse. Um, the developer hasn't patched in um, controller support. He has to patch in options for resolution. I believe he's you can change the key bindings, but um, as far as I see, the controls are, are very responsive and tight. But I would like to play this on controller, and I would love to see this game come to consoles. So, uh... It's very ultra violent this game. You press space. Um, if you do press space, you get it. Are you sure? Blah blah blah. Space basically is, is when you're on top of an enemy, you can knock them out. So let me show you. All right. All right. Next, you should try killing the next guy. Use the bat in the corner. All right. Sure. So the whole entire idea of the game is you can um, pick up different weapons. You got melee weapons and you have uh, um, you know guns and so forth. So it's really satisfying you could throw weapons as I just showed 
So I can throw this at him like that, knock him out, and beat the shit out of him. Now you have guns too. You can throw guns as well. And it's just a really cool um, way to take out enemies, man. It's, it's, it's very quick. You can die one shot. They die in one shot as well. It's very quick. So come in there, boom, take them out. So that, that's basically the basics. There's also um, a stealth element to it. Um, you, you should be sneaking around and um, you can knock down doors, knock people out. All right, this is the um, start of the game. And who do we have here? Oh, you don't know? Who are you? Maybe we should leave it that way. But I know you. Look at my face, we've met before, haven't we? I don't know who you are. Why are you here? You're no guest of mine. Do you really want me to reveal who you are? Knowing oneself means acknowledging one's actions. As of lately, you've done some terrible things. If you don't remember me, I'll give you a clue. Does April the 3rd mean anything to you? I believe that was the day of our first encounter. You look like you might be remembering something. So this is like a flashback. Alright, so like every mission starts off, basically you're in like your house, and you, you get like a phone call, and it tells you um, like what uh, location you have to go to to do uh, assassinations. This is Tim at the bakery. The cookies that you ordered should be delivered by now. Unless some ingredients are included. Make sure you read them carefully. So you go over here. It's always like a clever way of you get your assassination mission. The target is in the briefcase. Discretion is necessary. Leave target at point F32 inside the dumpster. Failure to do so is not optional. We'll be watching you. So there's consequences if you don't follow through with what you're supposed to do. So every mission you go through there, and then you go in your DeLorean. <laughs> this is awesome. And this is the soundtrack. Let me just pause it for a second. Listen to the soundtrack. Oh my god, it's amazing. So the link will be in the description, like I said. You cannot purchase it now, but once you can purchase it, everyone go out there and buy it. So uh, the great thing about the game is you can replay every chapter as you want. And they have these different masks, which have different perks on them. So this mask, um, it gives you an eye for secrets. So you find these different um, puzzle pieces in within the levels. And if you find all the puzzle pieces, you actually get an alternate ending, which is pretty cool and gives you more explanation to the story. The, the story is very um, hard to explain. They don't tell you much why you're going on these assassinations, but it kind of comes... Uh, you know to the forefront at the end of the game and it's a really smart uh, delivery of a story I really enjoyed it at first I was kind of skipping it and then I got more into it and I started actually reading what they're saying I was like whoa this is a pretty good story yeah, I would definitely like say this game is like drive the game if you ever watch that movie drive like it has the same exact type of uh, feel you know it's like 80s and it's got one man assassin like I love it it got Tony's faster executions Aubrey's more guns uh, Don Juan is lethal uh, doors so you can like knock down the doors and lethally take people down usually when you just knock the door they just fall down then you have to get on top of them and kill them or wait for them to get back up and then clobber them out uh, Graham you can walk fast Dennis is very uh, helpful mask um, you can start with a knife which is I was using that weapon a lot man then the knife is really cool it's just uh, you know instant kills uh, George you can look further so you know the whole entire idea about this game is to um, you know check out your environment so with George you can actually look further than you regularly can uh, t there's dogs in the games that can instantly attack you with this mask the dogs won't attack you which is cool uh, this gives you like one extra um, basically life because you know there's one shot kill so you survive one bullet this gives you extra ammo uh, ripping steel not too sure what that is Peter's quiet gunshots this is a longo combo meter good shot walk faster hard to spot French translation, I don't, I have no idea. So I'm gonna start with, um, where's, I'm gonna start with the drill, which is pretty cool, you get that kinda at the end of the game. So I'll show you that out. It's really cool. All right, so, like I said, you can knock down the door and take care of the guys. <laughs> and drill their head in. <laughs> and watch, you can throw weapons. Oh, shit. Oh, they got me. All right. All right, so I'll, I'll try that again. So. Bonk. So you, you clear the stage. It's very quick. You go in, you go out. Then you get a checkpoint at the next level. So it's very cool, man. Oh, see? You got to be very quiet. 
Ah, oh, he got me. All right, let me stop fucking around. Oh, all right, I'm gonna stop fucking around. It's very quick. Oh, okay. Let me not do that. All right. Ooh. All right. That slice his throat. All right, I'm gonna stop fucking around with the drill. I'm gonna really take these guys out. The knife is the go-to weapon in this game. So you just go through there. Take them out. Take this guy out. All right. Chapter done, so we gotta get out of here, get back to the DeLorean. So actually this one, got some other guys coming. Ooh, okay. Let's take him out. So, shift, you can look around. Oh, he got me good. <laughs> Alright, let me stop playing around. Alright, knock him out. Hit him with that <laughs> luggage. Yeah, got him. Right, let's get the hell out of here. Get back in our DeLorean. Alright, so we're going to head back. We got to empty this guy in the dumpster. Briefcase. Uh oh, who's there? Can you hear me? This is actually the guy who trained you is gonna come back and try to kill you. I take him out. Bitch ass. <laughs> so that's the first chapter, uh, YouTube. So the cool thing about this game also, ugh, I threw up, <laughs> is that um, after each chapter you get a score and a rating, which is pretty cool. So they have based off your killings, your boldness. Boldness is basically like you just go in there and uh, just. Don't think about stuff and just go in there, uh, guns blazing basically. And you gotta get different combos and hit people at the same time. The bonus for how quickly you fix it, flexibility and mobility, uh, pretty straightforward. So let's see what I got. Alright, so I got an A plus uh, for my grade, so you can't do any better than that. So uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you guys want more of this game, I I'd be glad. To give you more I, I really love this game I would love to play through it I'm not gonna collect all the puzzle pieces I, I kind of just want to show you guys the baseline gameplay in the story because I think it's definitely worth it you know this is definitely probably my favorite indie game of the year if you don't count torchlight of course which you know this is a, this is what I call an indie game uh, torchlight is an indie game yeah there's like 20 30 people in the studio but this is made by two people man they had a, a passion and they had a what they wanted to focus on and they, they did it man they nailed it man it's an excellent game so uh, like I said um, if you guys want more Hotline Miami 100 views on this video uh, I'll, I'll do a walkthrough of a complete game um, Medal of Honor I'm not continuing it I'm gonna return it today I'm not gonna do the multiplayer it sucks and plus you need an online pass so what's the point and you know we got uh, Sleeping Dogs DLC coming out um, there's also Guild Wars 2, uh, a free update for Halloween. I'm not too sure if I'm going to do that because of, uh, the boss, <laughs> you know, the boss, uh, that you have to fight. Like, I still haven't seen it online yet, so I kind of want to see what I'm dealing with before I put up a video. It's, uh, I think it's the Shadow of the Mad King, it's called. And, um, besides that, um, coming up is, uh... Call of Duty Black Ops 2 for me. So, you know, we played a shitty Medal of Honor. Hopefully this Black Ops 2 uh, Call of Duty game will uh, tread a little bit better in my eyes. You know, it's going to be a new setting. It's going to be futuristic. So, hopefully it'll be interesting. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's that's it for my walkthroughs for the rest of the year. I don't really have any other games to play until uh, Devil May Cry and Anarchy Reigns, which come out in January. So, uh... You know, if you guys want to see more from me, uh, definitely uh, watch uh, this Hotline Miami, and I'd be glad to put up a complete walkthrough of this game. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, buy, the, uh, buy the soundtrack when it comes out. At least listen to it. I'll put the description and definitely buy the game. Ten bucks on Steam, well worth it. You couldn't spend uh, ten bucks better this year, man. So uh, that's pretty much it. This is Drew from Not Too Nerdy. Thanks for watching. I'm out.